In this video, we're going to go from this, oh man, to this. Okay, so in this video, uh, I'll show you how to repair your dishwasher when it no longer dries. So I suspect the problem is with the flood switch assembly, which I've already purchased. But I'll show you how to troubleshoot it to, to, so you'll know for sure. First couple things you want to do. One, shut the water off to the dishwasher. And you want to turn off the power to the dishwasher. Here it is on my circuit breaker. See, the power's off. Nothing's happening there, so we've got the right breaker. And on this one to remove the top rack, you just first take off these little plastic pieces, pop that out, and then the rack will just slide right on out. Okay, so to check your continuity, turn your lead meter to the lowest ohm scale. And I usually check my leads real quick by touching them together. And there we go, close to zero. Then next you put your leads on here, on your element. But it's always a good idea to unplug one side first. Put the meter leads on, and you should see very low resistance. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug that back in because that obviously is not the problem. Okay, so back onto the inside. Go ahead and get this out of the way. So just turn it just a little bit and pull it out, set it aside. Then turn this. There's the filter, by the way. Uh, good idea to clean that filter. You see a little bit of gunk on there already. Um, clean the filter out periodically. Okay, and as you can see, there's water in there, so of course you need to clean that water out. Next, take this piece off. Like so, go ahead and get it out of the way. And make note of how this piece goes in, the long side goes down. Get this out of the way. Okay, so next, remove the quarter inch drive screws. Retrieve the screws using either magnet or you know, those pliers. There we go. Slide that off. There's the new one. There's the plug. So you see what it looks like. Not a whole lot of room to unplug that little border. Okay, got that one unplugged. Okay, there's a ridge right here to help you locate where it goes. And there's a corresponding, or actually, there's a slot right there and a ridge on the plug.
tighten it down too tight because it is going into plastic. You don't want to break that. Okay, put that in next. Piece on top of it. I'm going to put the little holders. It's only a quarter turn for these guys. Kind of. Okay. Next is the filter. Put the filter back in. Like so. And put this will go back in. Oh. And by the way, this is what locks it in right here. It's got to spin around. This is what locks it right here because it's got to spin around. So place that in. And quarter turn to lock it. Now all we gotta do is put it all back together and give it a try. By the way, this is usually attached underneath the dishwasher or appliance. Extremely helpful. It's got error codes and wiring diagram and all that fun stuff on there. I did turn the water on and check for leaks. Turn the power back on. Okay, next we're going to select a very short cycle. And once you're satisfied it's all working correctly, of course don't forget to put the covers back on. There we go, dishes are all dry. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well... Subscribe to the channel, maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching. Alright, so I'm gonna just set it for a really short cycle here. Um, nope, I'm gonna go turn the breaker back on.